Hey guys, welcome back to the Fishing Hardcore Korea Mode series in Stormworks. Today, we're actually going to be adding a microcontroller from the workshop into our pickup truck. We're then going to be driving home and hopefully doing some more missions today. We will see. But anyway, let's install the, uh, the microcontroller first and go from there. Okay, so this is of course our pickup truck. If we go into here and we type in clutch, here we go. This is what we need. So uh, it's called a centrifugal clutch. Let's go ahead and grab one of those and we'll actually just shove it on the roof for now. And now we'll go ahead and connect it all together. So this right here is for the clutch. Our clutch is down here. Bam! There we go. This is for the throttle, which is going to go on WNS. And this right here is for the RPS of the engine. Bam! Okay, and I think that's actually it. There is nothing else to it. So, let's have a little look at the microcontroller itself and see what it's all about. Okay, so, as you guys can see, we've got RPS start engage and RPS max engaging. That's 8 and... 10. I would assume this could be like 5 and 15, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna leave it at what it was before because otherwise we might have more issues because of me. Who knows? Anyway, let's go into logic and have a little look at this. So we have the RPS start engine. Okay, this is the max. And then we've got two down here, which is the RPS and the throttle going into a composite right, which then goes through a Lua script. Oh my, okay. And then it comes out of the Lua script and goes into composite and then clutch. Not gonna pretend I know what is actually going on here, to be fair. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is and say, good job. This will be linked down below if anyone wants to use it. Okay, so apparently we're missing D. Oh no, have I taken all the diesel from here already? I think I have. Oh no, that means we actually don't have any diesel whatsoever in order to get home. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? You know what? That's actually okay. And you know the reason why? Well, it's because we're going to go ahead and get a generator. No, a motor. And we're going to shove it in here. Unfortunately, we only have small motors. So we're going to have two of these, which are going to run us. Run our thingamabobby. Uh, let's get ourselves a pipe really quickly. Shove these guys together just like that. Then we're going to shove this guy under here. And we're going to do this. There we go. So we have three motors. They are running through one gearbox, so let's go ahead and turn this around. Here we go. And we'll make these three to one. There we go. Three to one right there, and three to one right there. Awesome. Okay. Uh, WNS is going to go straight to that, so let's have a little look at this. WNS, bosh, bosh, bosh. And that should be it. Here we go. Spawn it in. Let's see if it will move. Okay, so it will actually work if we need it to, in order to actually get home. Uh, and, oh my, I'm sorry, <laughs> I just ran over that thing, my bad. Uh, it is going to run out of electricity really quickly though, that's the issue with this. But it is pretty fast. Uh. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no, this totally works. Hmm, okay, so in order for you guys to know that it is an electric car, I have made it blue, but I haven't made it like crazy blue, it's just blue. So, uh, one thing that I do want to do with this one is add a cable thingamabobby instead of this guy right here. There's literally no point in having this as well, and there is no point in having the fuel dial right there either. So let's grab this, shove it into there. We do need an actual speedo, so let's go ahead and get one of those, and shove that into the engine bay, which honestly doesn't have much in it anyway. Uh, we'll also make it blue, because why not? <laughs> it literally might as well be blue. There we go, so connect this up to here. There we go, and we are ready to save it and drive home. Oh, I've totally accidentally done this on the bonnet, and also I haven't even connected it either, so yeah, we're gonna have issues if we do crash. <laughs> um, but we do have a way of recharging our batteries, so that's probably fine. Anyway, uh, we're off-roading currently, we're gonna get to the cliff that we always drive down, and we're gonna drive down it. Okay, so let's go down here, yes! Oh, the back end! Oh, we turned around. Okay, luckily, we're actually fine. The unfortunate thing about this, and the way that I've built it, is we don't really actually have a reverse, because our brakes are on S. But so is reverse, if that makes sense. So we'll only have reverse for like a little bit, and it's going to be weird. Anyway, let's continue. Not gonna lie, this thing travels at like wicked speeds. It is incredible. It's an electric vehicle, so it does just fly. 
Yeah, 25 meters per second. I don't know what that is in miles an hour, but I'm assuming pretty fast. I think it's about 55 miles an hour, I th think. But I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, let's continue this way. Oh, and go. Yeah, now we're good. So let's go ahead and put, turn the lights on. Apparently only one of our lights works on both sides. <laughs> Literally only one of the lights works. Okay, right, good. Anyway, uh, we're going to continue. I am still holding it down. We are now going 36 meters per second. So we're going a hell of a lot faster than we were. 37. I'm not slowing down just yet, but I probably should. Yeah, because we're going to wiggle into just death any second. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm still holding it down. 37 me meters per second. Still going. Holy balls. You know what? It's actually working quite well, though, considering we've been holding down the forwards button this whole time. And not died yet? That's a win in my book. Okay, so side note, we only have the small batteries. Like, we do actually need to get the big batteries soon, otherwise, uh, this isn't really that feasible. Also, we are down to 80% battery. Obviously, it gets... Uh, it gets worse as it empties. Uh, but also, as it empties, I guess it gets slower at using the electricity because it's getting worse. I don't know, I think that's true. Anyway, we're pretty much home now. So, that was sick. I want to try and do a jump. I know this is a really, really, really dumb decision for me, but let's go ahead and see what happens here. Three, two, one, wee! Alright, that was like the tiniest jump ever. What about this one? Alright, another tiny jump. I... Uh, that's actually quite a big one. Let's do this. Oh, you guys are going to love this. Ready? Wee! Alright, brakes on. Oh yeah, nice. This is actually really good. Uh, again, I don't have a reverse, so I'm going to have to turn around, but that's fine. Alright, so what I want to do real quick is actually get rid of this one. There we go. Delete that as well. Shove this guy onto there like that, and that is awesome. We're then going to actually attach this down to anywhere. That's fine. And we also need to attach all of these lights to the electricity, which I guess can go down to there. Okay, that should be pretty much everything. Uh, we do need a reverse gear as well, just in case. So let's go ahead and get one of those. It should probably be here. In fact, we could just put it on this one. There we go. Reverse, yes. Go ahead and connect that. Whoa, I just accidentally tabbed out. Connect this one to... What's reverse on in this? Three, I think? And that's all good, yeah. Anyway, the whole point of this video was to check out a clutch controller. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. We're then going to check out this clutch controller on our vehicle, and we'll go from there. But yeah, it's daytime now, nice. Where's this mission at? Overboard. It's probably too far away for me. Anyway, microcontroller's on the roof. Let's start the engine and go. Okay, it's chugging a bit. But it didn't stall. And now we're going a million miles an hour. Okay. Whoo. Right, turn around. Let's go back home. I think I'm going to change it to 5 and 15, like I said earlier, and we'll see what happens there. We're then going to try and pull a trailer with loads of weight on it. That seems like a fun idea. Also, we do need an actual speedo in here, too. So let's grab one of these. Speed sensor. Shove it into car. Just like that. Connect this up to here, and we are good, yeah. Uh, what else did I say I was going to do? 5 and 15. Right, okay, so 5 here, 15 right here. Okay, let's save it real quick. Good, and try again. Here we go. Alright, so I've started the engine, I've turned off the brakes, and it's moving. Okay, right, pause right there. I'm going to get a trailer with loads of weight. Okay, so this trailer currently weighs 877. If I add a row of this, it's now 3 point, oh, 3,758. If I do it a bunch of times, it is now 12,300. So this weighs 12 times the amount the trailer used to weigh. Pretty much. Let's try and pull this. I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, so we gotta lift up the trailer. I do need to increase the suspension on the truck. Clearly, that is an issue. <laughs> it's literally dragging its butt across the ground. But let's go ahead and see if it'll actually move. Here we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hold W and... 
Yeah, it's totally working. This is awesome. This is actually so good. The microcontroller is helping an insane amount. So, yeah, you know what? I'm actually really happy with that. It can stay. Okay, so I've stiffened up the suspension and we still have some serious issues right here. It is literally full stiffness. Anyway, this right here is 44 ton, which is what like a British lorry normally drives around with, like fully laden. So let's go ahead and start the engine and try and drive. All right, in forwards, here we go. Okay, so same engine, just with a microcontroller. Wait, actually, it's not moving, but that's because of this. One sec. Boop. There we go. It should actually drive now. Let's have a little look. Go. Yep. It is moving it. Just, obviously, not very quickly. That is insane. How much a microcontroller can actually help you is, is madness. But yeah, we are pulling 44 ton around now. So this truck should, in theory, be able to actually do anything. So there you go. I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, that's not too shabby, actually. Yeah, so uh, this is going to be extremely capable from now on, which I am very happy about. We obviously don't need this trailer full of weight. In fact, how much money did I even spend on this? Let's have a little look. I spent 28500 on it. Madness. And look at that. The stiffness on that is going crazy. All right, what does it drive like now without anything? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Really stiff back end, obviously, because if anything's heavy, then that makes sense. Uh-oh. I was going to say, <laughs> I was always going to hit that little marker right there. Right, fire extinguisher first, obviously. Put out the fire. I'm almost dead. Holy balls. I almost died. I keep forgetting that I am actually in a situation where if I do die, the series ends. So I need to be careful with that. But anyway, let's go ahead and put the fire extinguisher back. Weld everything up. I'm trying to make sure that I weld up the fuel tank. Because it is probably dead, to be fair. Let's have a little weld up of this. Push the button. Let's fix that. Fuel tank is not dead. Is anything still in it? It's still got all of the diesel in it that we had before. How has that survived? Okay, let's go ahead and fix a lot of the rest of this. Just so that we can take it home and that'll be good. Yeah. I do think I'm going to lift the truck as well. In fact, let's go back and we'll lift the truck a little bit too. I think the clutch might be broke. Is the clutch broken in there? Let's have a little look. The clutch is on this side somewhere. Let's have a little look. Alright, clutch seems fine. Excellent. Let's see if this works now. No. Hmm. Then what's, what else is broken? Is it the line to the... Hold on. Is it the gearboxes? That all looks fine. Everything back there actually looks okay. Everything should be running. Alright, let's go ahead and get in again. See if we can start the engine. I can't actually start the engine. Is that because the batteries are all dead? Yeah, we don't have enough battery charge. This is a good time to test the battery charger thingamabobby. Lower this down. Alright, that's good. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes it doesn't lower down all the way, straight away. We have to fix this. Okay, excellent. And then we just do this and this. And we'll look at the battery thing. And see if that is actually going up, which it hasn't yet. It might just be that the connection between the back and the front is broken. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Alright, you know what? That doesn't matter. It was just me being too excited about having a truck that is actually awesome. It is ridiculous how helpful that microcontroller is. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and push our truck all the way back. And yeah, we'll see what happens from there. Okay, so we managed to push it close enough. This is great. Now, the one thing that I am going to struggle with here is figuring out whether I should or shouldn't actually raise this thing. Because if I lift it up and we do an actual lift kit on this thing, is it going to be any good is the first question I've got. We then need to actually move everything back up. But if I paste that in there, we delete this and this and that. 
I'm gonna have to move a bunch of stuff, aren't I? Hmm. I don't know. Should we lift it? Should we not lift it? Is the question. I think I'll leave that up to you guys, actually. So I'm gonna leave this here. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I will be linking the microcontroller down below if you guys want to check it out. And let me know, should we lift the truck so it's actually one block higher or not? It's going to make us a little bit more unstable in the long term, but I think overall it's a good idea. We'll see. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, and uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Goodbye.